Welcome to CRM Crew, my name is Nick, and in today's quick tutorial, I'm gonna be demonstrating how to edit the sales stages in your HubSpot CRM system. So once you log into HubSpot CRM, of course you'll come to the home screen. Now in order to edit our deal stages, we firstly need to head over to deals. So in order to do so, go to sales at the top left here, use the drop down menu, and then just press deals. And then as you can see, all our deals will have loaded. I don't have any data inside of this system, so unfortunately there aren't any. And those deals would meet um, in each of the different stages that are applicable to that particular uh, particular record. So in order to edit these stages, what we need to do is go to board actions on the right hand side here, press a drop down menu and then go to edit stages. And this will open another window. And this is in the back end of the HubSpot system. And this is where we can edit our stages. So as you can see, we've got our different stages here. We can reorder them if we'd like to by using these dotted buttons on the left hand side here and then just dragging and dropping down accordingly. So you can reorder those. We can also change the name of the particular stage. And I advise of course to change the stage name to something that is applicable to your business and your sales process. Uh, it's make it obviously make it easier for the user to use. Um, we can also delete it if we'd like to. So if we'd like to delete this particular stage, we can do. All you need to do is press the delete button. You can also change the win probability and you have anything from 10% all the way to won and lost. So you've got a whole host of different options there. Um, and then we can also edit the properties. And if we press that button, we'll get be presented with this pop-up menu. And this essentially allows us to request information from the user uh, when that particular deal enters this stage. So we can say, close one reason, close loss reason, deal stage, pipeline and amount. So when the um, deal enters this stage, uh, it will ask the user to fill out this information. Unfortunately, as this is the free version of HubSpot, we can't make this a business required or required field. Um, however, if you did have the paid version, you could do. Either way, these are really useful tools just to capture that last piece of information. Um, so you can apply that to your stages if you so wish. We can also add an, an additional stage. If we go down the bottom here and press add a deal stage, we can do. We need to again, give the stage a name. We can also map it accordingly. Um, I will change that to there. I'm gonna call this test. Um, and then we need to give it a win probability. I'm gonna change it to one. Um, as you can see here, close date and close one reason are requested. And then once you do so, that is effectively everything that you can change on the sales pipeline. So once you're happy with your new sales pipeline, you just need to press the save button, head back to the old window, and then you just need to refresh. And then as you can see, that new new um, new one will have been, that new stage will have been added as you can see here. And that is how to edit the sales or the stages or the deal stages inside of your HubSpot CRM system. I hope this video has clearly explained how to edit the sales stages in your HubSpot CRM system. If you do have any further questions, please drop me an email. My details are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.